so real quick, and yes, that is Eminem in the background, rapping. He's almost done, though. Um, anyways, I'm making Divinity Cookies. Uh, I started making these a few years ago, I think. My best friend, Becky, got the, um, the recipe, and we made them together. We haven't had another cookie maze confession in a long time, so... I'm making cookies now with my other best friend. That would be this one right here. I only have a few more years of us being friends, and then I think she's going to be a spirited one. Let me go over there. But, anyways, real quick on what goes in. Um, you're going to need five and a half to six cups of powdered sugar. I just go ahead and get the Walmart brand. Um, you're going to need three cups of shortening. Yes, it is pure fat. That is these cookies but they taste so good um, I get the butter flavor because and I definitely get Crisco because you're going to want the name brand for this I've used other ones they just don't cook up as nice that's just my opinion if you made them before and they taste really good to you you stick with what you want you're going to need 4 cups of flour and that's what I have right here um, just a teaspoon of salt um and then you're going to need both vanilla extracts. It's really better to use the clear vanilla, but I have just regular vanilla. So it works. Um, and then um, you use imitation almond extract. I use Wilton, Wilton because I make frosting for my cakes too. And uh, I'm going to be making it in my KitchenAid. And I'm using that this whatever stirrer it is. Um, okay, so we are going to get this all mixed up, and I'll be right back. You want to, to the dough to be that shade? The, well, yeah, it's going to kind of be that shade. Okay, how you start is you start with three cups, give or take, um, of the shortening. Um, I don't know, if any of you know me, you know that I am never an exact measurer. But everything turns out good anyway, so not really worried about it. Um, so are you getting ready to put that in there, girl? Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to hold it while you push it? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and push it. Ooh. There's one. Yeah. Okay, you need me to hold this one? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that, that just went in there is two cups. Two cups. And that is the third cup. So then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to turn on your KitchenAid or whatever you have. Make sure it's locked. I've done that I don't know how many times and the thing pops up and it's just a mess. Oh, not really high. Just kind of keep it like that for a minute and start measuring your powdered sugar. And you'll need five and a half to six cups of that. The next thing you're going to want is four cups of flour. I'm just going to use this again. Trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time is very hard. I don't know how some of you YouTubers do it. Very gifted folks, I must say. And I know, God, I had a viewer. I don't even remember her name now, but so I'm going to have, well, yeah, you watch my stuff too, but um, she uh, wanted to know about my, uh, Sasha, don't do that, honey. Wanted to know. Uh, about I had posted a video a while back at Ross Hall and I had some boots in there and I didn't show all the details of the boots and so she is uh, I'm just doing this so the the um, flower tape <laughs> Two oranges. um anyways, anyways. Um, oh. I have a little whoa, whoa. I have a little uh, parrot here whoa. Whoa. whoa guy didn't clean the kitchen yet no. okay <laughs> So you're so weird. 
Anyways, um, so I'm going to actually try to either do that tonight or tomorrow. Um, I've just been between work and everything. I haven't had a whole lot, lot of time to edit or do anything, but I'm hoping that I can get a little bit done here and there to kind of try to get something going for people who do give me the time of day and watch. And some of those people might actually just be family too, and I think that's fine. Because I even miss my family that's right here in town. I have a brother that just, holy crap. I have a brother that just got married and um, in July, and uh, he has a baby son and uh, that he um, yeah, had with his wife. And then they also have a um, six-year-old. So I've been busy with that. And um, I also have uh, been trying to spend a lot more time with my little sister um, and whatnot. And maybe I can even get her on here one of these times. She's kind of, she doesn't like a lot of attention. <laughs> so... She's, but she is a big sweetheart, and I don't know, she entertains me a lot, so. Might have to do that a couple times. Okay. Mm. I usually even. divvy up stuff like that into like two. Mom, is getting even tastier. Is it? Yeah. See, she knows this because she keeps dipping her little hands into. If you look, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I have a thing with uh, just throwing stuff in my KitchenAid and it ends up good. I don't know if I should call that a thing or what, but anyways, you let that go for a little bit. Then again, we'll be right back. Okay, the last thing that, well, one of the last things that go in are, um, I'm so hold on a minute, are uh, a table, a t whoa, a teaspoon, sorry about that, teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to put that right in. Let go for a while. And then if anybody knows me, I never, ever measure um, vanilla. I just kind of pour. I haven't had any complaints yet. So that's right about... The other yeah. It's right there. Okay, the last thing that I'm putting in is the almond extract. And this one you kind of want a little less than you have of the vanilla. But again. And my friend Michelle at work is going to be ticked when she sees Sasha drinking the soda. And a lot of you moms probably will be too. She hasn't had one for a few days. And I figured with she was really good today. And with dinner, it wouldn't be bad. So, right? And she probably won't even finish it. Because she likes to have milk right before bed. Hey, uh-uh. Get your, hey, yuck. <laughs> well, thank God it's just going to family. <laughs> Weirdo? What did you do that for? Tell me. I, I like it. I, uh, I like the dough. I eat dough. <laughs> the what? The cookie dough? The, the divinity dough? Yeah. Like now what ice. you'll see is I got one of our cutting boards ready. I have a mess on my table. I'm going to work on that. I've been working on it since last night. It just um, got really out of hand the past two weeks. So anyways trying to do family time and cleaning time just doesn't seem to work all the time anyways um i uh what did i do i got a really big cutting board and i covered it with um flour light coating of flour and then i um rolled it down to not very thick no, honey, do it towards the end. And then we're just going to be cutting them, and I'll show you when they're done. Okay, so I am almost out of battery. I wanted to let you guys see what the end product looks like. 
My son and husband will be home in a minute. We're going to get baths and stuff done. That's kind of private time and stuff. I think if I do do a blog, very rarely will you see, like, I don't know, even a kid's bath time. Well, not kids, kid. The other one is way too old to be watching him bathe. Anyways, this is a nice mess I have to clean up, but I plan on having it cleaned by tonight. Um, for my more adult viewers, I guess, she is uh, making a coat or a saddle for my uh, boxers. And um, I'm not quite sure what that shape is. Coat. To me, it looks kind of phallic. What do you guys think? I like it, but um, I'm just find it funny. She says it's symmetric. That was the word she used. I don't know if that's a school word, but boy, I didn't use the word symmetric when I was five. Anyways, the other thing is, these guys, can you believe these guys? That is Ozzy. That is Bear. They are called bully breeds. I just read this on like Facebook. And um, a few minutes ago, I didn't have my camera. I was in the middle of putting stuff in the oven. But the, this one especially, this one got away from her. But this one is our older one. And she was trying to put this on him like a saddle. And I would think if a dog was a bully dog or a bad dog or a dog to be scared of, um, he would have bit her. But neither of my dogs have really went after my children at all. If they would have, they'd be gone. And I'm pretty sure they know that. But, um, you know, when my kids don't go over and beyond upsetting them and, you know, they don't just... They're very protective of my kids, but I neither of them are bullies. So I would think, I think if you guys think they're bullies, you're on crack. People who think boxers or pit bulls, it's all in how they're raised. Um, I've seen pit bulls that act wonderful around kids and babies and all kinds of stuff. Um, same thing with boxers. I used to be terrified of boxers. Because I had a friend who had boxers, but they trained their boxers as watchdogs. And um, they terrified me. And then my best friend, Becky, who I learned how to do these cookies with, her dog, Prissy. Oh, Prissy's gone now. But that dog had to be the best dog ever. And she was a boxer, and she made me fall in love with boxers. Um, she actually danced with her kids. Um, they did the cha-cha. It looked more like a conga. But um, it was a cha-cha, and uh, they would, I mean, we've, she's got pictures of it. It just, I'm sorry, I just, when I read that, I have a very hard time believing, and yes, I'm on a soapbox, and I shouldn't talk about it, but I just really, I don't know. Well, I'll probably try to show more of my dogs in action and stuff. Like, they're more playful than anything. Like, I, again, I had my head in the oven, but um, they're playing on the trampoline together. Bear would pop his head up from the springs of the trampoline and then Ozzy would chase him. So, I don't know. I have a very hard belie time believing There's the whole bully breed thing. There's bulls on Ozzy. There's what? Ozzy. This is Ozzy. There's a bulls on them. Oh, are you drawing Ozzy now? Oh, I see that. I wonder Ozzie. if I can get in there. Oh, I see the feet. What's coming up off of him? <laughs> Balloons? Oh, <laughs> like lifting them up. Oh, like on like on your pig game, bad piggies. Yeah. This kid is so into bad piggies. If they're red. More so than Angry Birds. Okay. Anyways, done with bully dogs. Done with divinity cookies. I'm pooped. I'm gonna get her bathed. Get this stuff cleaned, and I'm gonna get myself bathed. Then I'm gonna try to edit this. And then I'm going to go to bed. Um, yeah. And then I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Bye.